Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series on programming with C. About myself, I am Professor Om Prakash, working as course coordinator at MIT Institute of Computer Science. I have over 15 years of experience in teaching programming languages such as C, C++ and Java. In this video, we will discuss about structure of C program. Let's write our first C program. Every C program should start with comments. What are comments? Comments are used to document or describe our programs. Using comments, we can provide additional information about program such as the title of the program, author of the program and purpose of the program. We can add comments in two ways in C. One using multi-line comments. Multi-line comments can be added by specifying forward slash followed by asterisk followed by the comments that you want to add. Such as say for example this is my first program. Then we'll add the name of the author. Say my name. To mark the end of multi-line comments, we have to specify asterisk followed by forward slash. In contrast to multi-line comments, few modern C compilers support single line comments. Single line comments can be specified using double forward slash. The difference between multi-line comments and single line comments is multi-line comments can have multiple lines, whereas a single line comment can have only a single line. Line comment. After comments, we have to add header files in a C program. We'll add hash include stdio.h. Here, stdio.h is the name of the header file. A header file consists of definitions of library functions and macros that we want to use in our program. stdio.h is a built-in header file. It includes standard input and output functions which we want to use in our program. Hash include is a preprocessor directive. It means that it is preprocessed before the compilation. Next, we need to add the main function. The main function may take parameters or may not take parameters. In this example, I'm not passing any parameters to the main function. It is followed by curly brackets. The return type of main function can be int or void. If we specify the return type as int, we have to include a return statement. Specify void as return type. There is no need to specify return set statement. Let's specify int as return type. Now if we specify int as return type, we have to include return statement. What value I should return? Here we have to return a zero value for successful execution of the program and a non-zero value when the program is not executed successfully. Now where these values are returned? The value is returned to the operating system where you are executing the program. The values are interpreted by the operating system for further action. Now let's add a simple printf statement to print a message on the screen. Obviously printf is available in stdio.h header. So let's type welcome to MET. Now we have to save this particular program. It's very simple. Click on file menu, click on save and save it at the location where you want to save. Say I'm calling it as my program one and I want to save it as a C click on save. Once the program is saved, we have to first compile the program. The compiler checks are there any errors in our program. If there are no errors, it shows the appropriate message. 
If there are no errors, we can execute this particular program. And to execute the program, we have to issue run command. On clicking run, we'll get the output. And as specified in the program, the output is welcome to MET. Now let's study how a C program is compiled and executed. The step one in the execution of a C program is we have to first write the C program. And to write C program, we can use any editor. As seen in the previous example, we have used developer C to write a very simple C program. You can see the same program hash include stdio.h, int main, and so on. We have to save this file with some name. In this case, I am saving the file with my program name and extension c this file is saved on hard disk the next component of the execution process is a preprocessor a preprocessor preprocesses dot c file what do you mean by preprocessing actually the preprocessor reads dot c file line by line and identifies all the preprocessor directives. The preprocessor directives specified in the file are replaced with actual code of those preprocessor directives. Here in this program we have hash include stdio.h. The code or the contents of stdio.h are replaced with the directive and what we get the code of header file plus R code and another intermediate file is created and it is saved on hard disk with the name myprogram.i. Once this is done, the next component that comes into picture is a compiler. The compiler reads myprogram.i file. It checks are there any errors. If there are any errors, those errors are reverted back to the user. Till the user is not resolving all those errors, nothing will happen. Once all the errors are resolved, the compiler converts myprogram.i file in what is called as object code. And we get another intermediate file which consists of all the binary code myprogram.o and this file is saved on the disk again. The next component now that comes into picture is a linker. So what is job of linker? Linker is responsible for linking myprogram.o with the library files. Now what are these library files? The header file contains only the names of the functions whereas the actual code for say printf function is included in the library file. So along with your program's object code, the function's object code is also linked and we get another file. The another file that we get is known as myprogram.out file and this file is again stored on the hard disk. Now we are ready for actual execution of our C program. The next component that comes into picture is the loader. The loader reads myprogram.out and loads it in RAM. Once myprogram.out is loaded in RAM, it is executed by CPU and we get the final output. This is how a C program is compiled and executed. Let's review what we have learned. Question 1. C programs are converted into machine language with the help of and the choices are an editor, compiler, linker, operating system. As we already have discussed, C programs are converted into machine language or the object, or sorry, binary code using compiler. So the answer is B, compiler. Next question, which is starting point of execution of a C program? 
and the choices are main, header, comments, and return. If you look at the question, it's pretty straightforward. The answer is main. Comments are not included for execution or even conversion. Header files are before execution and return statement is after execution. So thank you everyone.